Herzlich willkommen zur Afterparty von Hellblade, sag ich mal. Ähm, letzten Folge haben wir es durchgespielt. Und da habe ich die Hellblade-Funktion entdeckt. Habe ich drauf gedrückt, dachte, das gucke ich mir an. Allerdings habe ich, scheint das Making of zu sein, deswegen gucke ich mir das jetzt in dieser Folge ganz speziell, ganz dediziert, 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 ganz speziell in dieser Folge nur für diese Funktion. Ich weiß nicht, was Hellblade Funktion sein soll. Warum das Hellblade Funktion heißt, aber wir gucken es uns einfach an. Stormy seas and lost souls. Who is it? She's dreamt of this before. It's coming. Is it? Is it? Is it? They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts and fears. As seen by our inner eye. What if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake? And we only see what our inner eye creates for us. Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people fear seeing the world through our eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice is a video game about Senua, a Celtic warrior on a vision quest into Viking territory. But what sets our hero Senua apart is that she suffers from yeah, psychotic mental illness. The original idea for Hellblade was to create a classic hero's journey, a journey of suffering, but one where the fantasy world is not another planet or alternate universe, but a world that is constructed in Senua's mind. But to do so would mean putting psychotic mental illness ah. at the center of the experience, <clears throat> a subject that is still considered taboo, and a challenge that was both this terrible and again. exciting in equal measure. In Hellblade, the starting point was a newly discovered Celtic goddess called Senuna in Ashwell, Hertfordshire. When first discovered, her name was thought to be Senua, a name which I liked and kept. I wondered if Senua might have been a Celtic warrior like Boudicca, who stood up to the Romans. While the Romans had conquered all of Europe, there was a group of Celts up in the furthest east of the Roman Empire that could not be conquered, the Picts. And so the Romans built a wall, called Hadrian's Wall, that spans across Britain from sea to sea to keep the Pictish barbarians at bay. The Picts were known for their wall paint, painted on with woad, and their matted hair clumped with lime. And so Senua would be a barbarian Pict in this image. What's your name? <coughs> Die Picten. Senua. I haven't seen you before. I don't know how much. Oh, Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Orkney is off the coast of Scotland and was inhabited by the Picts, steeped in history and mystery. And so I made Orkney Senua's home and set the stage for a crisis. In the late 8th century, the first Vikings landed on the Orkney Islands. The population of the Picts crashed thereafter, replaced by the Norsemen of the 9th century. Were they wiped out? We don't know for sure, but it would seem likely given the reputation of the Vikings. The Northmen's brutality is legendary. High-ranking leaders and chieftains of the tribes they conquered were often offered as sacrifice to their gods. The most brutal of these sacrifices was known as the Blood Eagle. <laughs> yeah, it's schon... I imagine also, ich guck das gespannt mit, nur falls ich nichts sage, ich bin nicht weg oder so. Brutally sacrificed to a Norse god by the Spanish warriors from a faraway land. I imagine the horror of this moment and how it would have dragged her deep into mental torment. I 
came to learn that the Celts had a sophisticated and nuanced perspective on the nature of mental disorder. One term they used was Gelt. A Gelt is a man or woman who has been driven mad by a curse, battle trauma or grief. The Gelt would take to a life in the woods in search of penance, punishment and purgation. And so Senua became a Gelt, cursed by darkness, looking for redemption in the wilds. Another word the Celts used in reference to mental disorders was truth, meaning fool or liar, one who utters the words of God. Ah, so doch echte Leute, ich wusste They tell of the mad sinner who flees battle into exile and takes on a beastly nature, growing feathers on his body. The character called Truth in Hellblade is based on a little-known person called Findan, an 8th century Irish Celt who was captured and enslaved by the Vikings, but eventually escaped to Orkney where he became a monk. I will tell you my stories of hell, if I may walk with you. Upon meeting Senua, it would be his stories that fuel her quest deep into their world of gods. The Northmen say the world will come to an end. The Northmen say the world will come to an end. The sun will grow black, fire and water will meet, flames will play against the sky. All the gods will be dead, and the warriors of Valhalla. Senua, prepare yourself for Ragnarok, for it is nigh. So the stage was set for a new adventure, a journey into the Norse underworld called Hell, a vision quest fueled by madness and myth, a fantasy that was created by Senua's own mind and one that we would experience through her eyes. This is your mission. This is your quest. Da sieht man sie. Ich glaube, die Schauspielerin ist sogar eine Deutsche, wenn ich mich richtig erinnere. Die Senua. Senua. Mental illness such as psychosis is still to be and rarely acknowledged in a century of cinema. Never mind the new medium of games. Where it Oof. does feature, it often conflates psychosis and psychopathy associated with a lack of empathy. <coughs> it is unfortunate that these two words sound so similar that they are used interchangeably in media. I must admit that I didn't have to look very far no, to discover my own ignorance yeah, of So we reached out to Paul Fletcher, psychiatrist and professor of health, neuro of health neuroscience at University of Cambridge. Psychosis is a descriptive term and it refers to um, having a loss of contact with objective reality. So it's characterized by uh, two main sets of symptoms. One of them is hallucinations, where somebody experiences perceptions when there is no actual objective thing out there to perceive. Who are you? And the other is delusions, where somebody comes to very often bizarre, unpleasant, frightening beliefs when there's no good evidence in favor of them. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. We reached out to Welcome, a biomedical research charity that spends billions on research and awareness programs aimed at improving health. Mental health hasn't always been presented in the media in a way that is particularly helpful. Um, it can be challenging to engage people with the subject matter and there are a lot of preconceived ideas about mental health and particularly schizophrenia and psychosis. So we hope our support allows the team to continue to collaborate with Paul Fletcher and with those who have experience of psychosis to create a game that provides a fresh perspective on the condition and allows audiences to engage with it in a way that just wouldn't be possible in any other medium. What started out as a brief consultation convinced me that we were only scratching the surface of an immensely deep and interesting subject that could enrich and change the very nature das heißt, of the die, game. Das heißt, die, die daran erkrankt sind, haben selbst daran mitgearbeitet. Das ist really interessant. Das ist 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 still very much a mystery and ways of treating it are still primitive compared to physical illness. After all, it is easy to see the pain and suffering caused by physical diseases or physical trauma. It is not so easy to see the mental suffering and trauma of severe mental illness. But what if we could find a way to see it? Games are capable of drawing you in for hours on end, playing the role of a character who is different from you, experiencing their perspective, and actively involving you in a world that functions with a different set of rules. If we were to represent Senua Psychosis, we would have to simulate voice hearing, a common attribute. But how can we simulate something we have no first-hand experience of? Professor Charles Fernieho, a leading expert in voice hearing from Durham University, offered his help. Okay, 
Hearing voices is an experience that is usually associated with severe mental illness. And crucially, we know that hearing voices is a part of ordinary life for many people who don't meet the criteria for mental illness. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's not him in real life. We know voices vary according to where they appear in space. Voices can appear far away in the distance. They can appear right there in your ear. They can seem to be coming from inside your head. Based on the information Professor Fernie Ho provided, I put together a sound brief and invited some actors to the studio. We recorded the actors using a binaural microphone, which records the 3D spatial position of sound, replicating the way sound is heard by human ears. It gives you an incredible sense that the person you are listening to is right there beside you. Rachel Waddingham from the Voice Collective came to our studio with Ja, das, das habe ich zwischendrin im Spiel sogar mitgemerkt. Die talked at length about the tests and they listened to our tests, giving us neben dir gesessen haben. Da haben die ins Ohr gesabbert. Very hard to represent what this experience was. Das war schon sehr gruselig teilweise. Because it's such a personal, intense, emotional experience. It's testament to how ninja theory have been listening to what the researchers are saying, but also crucially listening to the experts by experience. What they've come up with is so compelling. It's by far the best representation I've heard of what these experiences are like. Other common attributes of psychosis are, other common attributes of psychosis are visions and flashbacks. We met with Recovery College East, who work with and care for people recovering from severe mental disorders. A group of service users gave us their first-hand account of what they experience. Sometimes when the, the vision or the, what we're seeing is too much, we become small to until eventually we practice eventually anything. The people we spoke to, the stories they told, were fascinating, harrowing and mind-boggling. The reality was that some peeps the ganze Zeit is. Vivid, far exceeding what I could possibly have imagined. We went away itching to represent some of these visions and flashbacks in the game. As we all know, my heart, heart is so, love is so far away. Don't you know how I want to feel deeper? Huh? I could never know how you grow all these days are killing me. Now I see so, what does this mean? Could have gone to the throne, but again. So, dass sich das die Realität so extrem verändert. Ja klar, das war eine Psycho, das hat man. Ach, das sind wahrscheinlich Sätze von Betroffenen. Die haben denen Tipps gegeben und das haben sie dann dementsprechend umgewandelt. Kaleidoskop war dieses, was das so aufspaltet, oder? Die Spiegeldimension. <lacht> Meine ich? Das heißt, jede Psychose, die sie sich angeguckt haben, haben diese, die der Alten gegeben. Das heißt, Zeno hat, hat das volle Programm mit Psychosen gekriegt. To refine our work, we continue to hold Rock the music. The recovery college east. Zwar jetzt nicht meine Musik, aber showing them what we had achieved so okay. far and refining the in-game representations based on their feedback. With their help, flashbacks, visions and changes in perception were woven into the story and gameplay of Senua. The students that are involved in this project are incredibly excited about being involved. They have described the experience as being important because it values their lived experience and shows that this and shows that despite what we have been through, all of that experience becomes valid, that actually um, it's something that we should all be talking about. The experiences described range from beautiful to frightening beyond comprehension. I heard of a girl who has to live with an angry voice screaming at her, slamming on her doors and walls 24 hours a day. I met someone who would often see hanging corpses in a room, so real that she would sometimes try to rescue them. 
the panic and fear that comes with such visions is entirely understandable and it can be a living horror for some. Worthless. Weak. Das ist natürlich hart, wenn man über Leute rumhängen sieht. I was urged by one fellow that we should not shy away from showing this horror. And so I was perpetually torn in making Hellblade. Had we gone too far with our representations or not far enough? Broke and left. Just like your soul. In some ways, voice hearing and visions were the low hanging fruit, so to speak. There's another aspect of psychosis that is huh. much harder to explain, but one that I think video games are uniquely able to represent, which are often called delusions. People begin to see patterns in the world. They begin to link things that most people wouldn't link. Most of the things that we might think would be coincidence or, you know, not worth commenting on. Nevertheless, that might have a particular salience or importance for them. One individual described how everyday words, sounds, colors, and objects were steeped in meaning to him, forming a strange and sinister puzzle that he was determined to solve but could not quite get to the bottom of. It's not just brain dysfunction. It's not, it's not like the system shut down. It's actually an incredibly creative process. The person creates a world populated with voices and phantasms and terrors, and they're completely immersed in it. They believe in it. We often invite people into the studio to play the game. In one of our playtests, they played through much of the game, making associations hmm. between rooms, secret messages, and the threat of darkness that stalked them. There are many things that happen in the world of Hellblade that make perfect sense within the context of Senua's mind. The dark rot that's killing her slowly from within, the secret runes of the gods that block her path to Helheim, and strange associations that exist in the game to confuse you. To complete Senua's quest, you have to internalize and accept the logic and meaning behind these things to progress. Afterwards, they said that they didn't see much evidence of mental illness in the game. People with delusions of all sorts would argue the same thing, that they are not aware of their aware of their experience being abnormal in any way. I need this sword. It's important. Representing perception changes and thinking patterns within Hellblade gives us a set of symptoms common in psychosis. But people with lived experience were keen to emphasize another point, that it is wrong to define a person by the symptoms. Die verdammten Masken, die haben das The illness comes not from the symptoms, but from the stigma, isolation and mistreatment that comes about from the rest of society. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? I needed someone to portray Senua, someone who could believably internalize the symptoms. That means the whole game was just a... Abgefahrene ps psychotische Störung. Melina Jürgens, our video editor, had been a stand-in for Senua over a few months while we perfected our motion capture techniques. This is not Without Deutsche. realizing it, she had already sicher. auditioned for the role, and I knew her well enough to know das that I didn't have to teach her to act, but to relive her own internal pain. As often is the case, those who have suffered mental anguish are never far from us. My hope is that by creating a compelling and aspirational character in Senua who feels very much real, albeit in a fantasy setting, we can provide a lens into her reality, a different one to yours, and this is where storytelling comes into play. I imagined her life based on common threads in real people's lives. She was always prone to psychosis as a child. Her mother Galina also heard voices and had visions, so perhaps there was a genetic aspect. Or perhaps it was cultural as she lived within a world without science, of gods and a superstition, as exemplified by her druid father Zimbal. Psychosis developed in her late teens to early twenties and was exasperated by stigma and isolation at the hands of the clansmen and her father. This darkness, it's spreading. The trauma of seeing her love with Dillian sacrifice tips her over the edge, making her remodel her reality around a concept that connects everything. The dark. Das war echt. Also, dass der geopfert wurde von den Nordmännern, das war echt. Die zu den Pikten kam. Yes, it is real. It is her reality. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. 
towards the end of the project, service users and professionals. Das heißt, das ganze Spiel war eine große Wahnvorstellung. It was a chance to see if the game had reflected their views or if it had misrepresented them. Me being involved in especially developing Senua's character has been really important and been able to bring in my perspective and, and what I see and what I hear and having that built into the game has been a real privilege. It's gritty and it's meaty and there are some tough subjects in there that are being tackled with honesty. Ja, doch. Ich habe zwar nicht keine Psychosen, also keine Erfahrung damit, aber ich kann mir vorstellen, dass es schon abgeht. Das ist die Frage, war sie aber physisch wirklich dort oder ist sie dann nur hingelaufen und hat diese Sachen gesehen oder war das, sah sie irgendwo in der Ecke und hat einfach nur einen Trip durchgeführt. I think all the way through, I was really inspired by how the conversations have translated into the game in a way that I think, in a way that I think I didn't imagine was possible. So wonderful, really wonderful. I really hope that others will follow the lead they've set and use the power of something like a video game to change people's perceptions, to increase understanding and ultimately to make some of the stigma around voice hearing and other experiences go away. For me, it was really exciting to see um, something that I explore scientifically being represented so beautifully. Is it just with a, a with a, oh, wie hieß er? Trying to penetrate the, the mysteries of the environment in which oh, they've been placed. Ah, verdammt, wie hieß er, Kerl? Drew? Der Finden? Der ist es auch wie der Typ. That I'm very excited Als ob der den gespielt hätte. Ich weiß nicht, das, das ganze Gesicht, wie der den Mund bewegt. Vielleicht hat er das schon gesagt oder ich habe es nicht gesagt. Aber der sieht sehr nach dem Druth aus. Mental illness has been with us for as long as we have been on this planet. But why? Why has an evolution stamped out this weakness from within our gene pool? I often pondered this question until I realized that the question had an inbuilt flaw. It assumes that being and thinking differently is a weakness. The only reason we have computers, spacecraft, medicine, poetry, art and, yes, even video games is because individuals are able to simulate new abstract realities in their minds and share them with the rest of us. We need people to be willing to see differently in order for us to progress and survive as society. And we need to be open ja. to these new ways also andere Sichtweisen und sich Sachen eine gute Vollstellungskraft zu haben, ist, glaube ich, was anderes als Psychosen zu haben. Das heißt... Jeder Entwickler oder jeder, ich sag mal, Dungeon Master hat eine psychische Störung und Wahnvorstellung. Will der das damit sein? Ähm, ja. Ich muss jetzt nicht unbedingt noch mehr darüber erfahren. Ich hab's nicht, ich brauch's nicht. Okay, das ging jetzt oh, fast eine halbe Stunde. <lacht> Dann würde ich sagen, das war die Hellblade-Funktion gerade. Es war interessant, mal anzugucken. Dann würde ich sagen, sehen wir uns beim nächsten Game wieder. Keine Ahnung. In diesem Sinne. Bis dahin.